Welcome to Claims Analysis by Sigma. I'm going to act as a manager in a healthcare payer and try to understand how claims are trending over time. I'm going to start by opening up my claims workbook and look at the differences between claims between California and Nevada. I can toggle between the two states and I can see that in Nevada we have around 9,000 claims, whereas in this case we've got 256,000 claims within California. I want to further my analysis by drilling into to see the claims by state. Through Sigma's Drill Anywhere capability, I'm going to drill down on state to see how claims are broken out at that level. I can see that most of my claims are occurring within California. What I want to do now is do a comparison of year over year of claims between 2021 and 2020. I can simply change the date and bring in up to hundreds of millions of new claims and, uh, and change the visual to view claims side by side. I'll expand the visual. I will add in the new category, which will be my claim date. And it'll bring in every claim date within our, my, my system. This is too much granularity, so I'm going to go ahead and truncate this down to just see the year and look at it side by side. I could see, in fact, that claims are increasing slightly within California year over year, along with in Washington and Nevada. I do now wonder, want to understand if my claims are going up or down from an average claim rate. I can simply click on the metric and add in a distinct count of claim, ID, claim IDs to understand the average claim. Directly within the visual, I can see now, side by side, the average claim between 2020 and 2021. And in this case, I can see claims in Nevada have increased dramatically in terms of the average year over year. I'm going to do further analysis by drilling in one more time using my Drill Anywhere capability to look at is this happening for a certain age group. I drill down and I can see most of my increase in claims is actually happening for my 56 and older age group. At this point, I want to hand this analysis off to my analyst to do further research. So I'm going to use my collaboration within Sigma, send this to my claims anal analyst, and have them do further research on my claims. The analyst can further the analysis in the existing workbook, or they may prefer to start with the raw data. I'll start by creating a new pivot table and recreate what my manager found. I'm going to start by creating a region on the rows and the claim date in the columns, along with the payer coverage in terms of what was paid out for each claim. Again, I don't need all the granularity, so I'm going to go ahead and truncate this down to just year. And I'm going to add filtering to remove all but the last two years. Next, I want to add the average claim like my manager did. I'm going to add a new column directly within the pivot that takes the calculation of the total paid and divides, divides it by the total distinct count of claims. This will give me my average claim. Now I can hide the payer coverage because I no longer need this column. And I'm going to add some formatting to better see how my claims are trending month, year over year. Next, I'm going to add in state and region as well as age. I can create any 
number of levels that I want because again, I'm leveraging the power of the cloud data warehouse to build this on the fly. I've added in state and I'm going to age group. And I'm going to just expand and focus on Nevada. And I can see here, this is the increase in terms of claim. The 56 and older. Now I might want to do some further analysis to understand why this is happening. I'm going to leverage some of the data that I have available to me. First, I'm going to bring in and say, is this due to someone who potentially has high blood pressure? So I'm going to add in my hypertension component and see, is this happening for the 56 year olds with high blood pressure? It's kind of come back and it shows me that there was a slight increase in terms of those with high blood pressure in terms of average claim, but we can see that's not the majority of where the increase came from. I'm going to remove that and now I might add in, are they a smoker or not? This has given me another slice of the data to determine, is that what's driving the increase in average claim? And in this case, again, I do see an increase in terms of the average claim, which is accounting for a little bit more, but is certainly not driving the majority of the increase in the average. At this point, I want to create a whole new column or cohort that identifies any, one, any of my members that are high risk. I'm going to add a new column here. And I'm going to say, if the member has high blood pressure or they have diabetes or they are a smoker. If they have any of those, they'll be high risk. Otherwise, they'll be low risk. And I'm creating this new cohort or grouping or profile on the fly, leveraging the power of the cloud data warehouse. And I'm going to use this within my analysis. When I add this to my columns, I can see the breakout of high and, high and low risk members year over year. I can see that the high risk members have are accounting for most of my increase in average claim costs going from around 1200 up to 4,600 in claims. I can further understand what is happening by drilling down more time on age of the members to see, is this happening with a specific age of my members? I can see, in fact, that this is happening with my members that are 61 years of age. And I can get to the underlying detail to see specifically which claims had the largest increase in average year over year. Through the power of Sigma, we were able to identify trends of claims over time and isolate the demographics of our members attributing to the greatest increase in these claims. Thank you for watching this demo.